as I was conceptualizing the book, I knew that I really wanted to include illustrations, not just the cover, but actually throughout the book. And over the past year, I've worked with a lot of Nepali artists, picture book projects, illustrations for other magazines, etc. And I knew the value of that, how including the arts make the whole writing or the book more lively. But then because I had a different publisher, like I didn't know if I would be able to do that. Later, when we signed up with Fine Print, I felt that I could be more involved. So I talked to the publisher, Fine Print, they were open to the idea. And then I reached out to a couple of illustrators, but then talked to Ubahang. And for a couple of reasons, he had already expressed interest before while we were just talking casually. That was one thing. And the other thing was we've worked before, we're also friendly. And I also really liked his style. And then when I asked him, he agreed immediately. So we chose Ubang as an artist. Before finalizing the cover, we're actually working on the inside illustrations. To put it briefly, each chapter has one illustration. So I conceptualized the illustrations based on the themes of the chapters. And then there was some back and forth with Ubang. So we were sort of finalizing the illustrations and then also sending it to the publishers. Before Ubang worked on the cover, the publishers actually selected one of the inside illustrations as the cover, even though it was meant for, you know, part five originally. When we were talking, Ubang and I, we wanted some kind of surreal aspect as well. It's a memoir, so rather than going for something concrete, because the writing is just very real and concrete, it has real people. So in a way, to also juxtapose that, I think, to have some kind of surreal, imaginative element would work well. This particular illustration, it has islands, a boat going, you know, into the unknown in a way. I'm taking this narrative ideas course, and there's this thinking behind the course where it's like sort of mapping out our lives, creative, imaginative way. And in reference to, you know, how we have traditional socio-political structures set in life, but people on the margins who have alternative lifestyles, they don't fit inside those structures. So I mean, structures like marriage, rituals, stuff like that. So then the idea is that you sort of map your life and your past in a way that counters that narrative. You know, so the traditional map might have just one path that you just follow without thinking. This alternative mapping, you can create your own map. You can create your own islands, your own mountains, and you go exploring. So it's a very beautiful image. As you work on a map, you find more territories to explore. Untapped territories, you sort of chart your own course. So in that sense too, this metaphor of the cover would be, you know, there are islands in our life that we may not have explored that we can hop on and see and inhabit. So if you climb a hill, your vision expands. If you climb a mountain, you see more. So in that sense, if you go on top of certain islands, you see things that you've never seen. You can imagine other territories.